Hi everyone and welcome to Friday Night Live. I am your host, Crystal Fry, and tonight we are talking about the burden of overwhelm. Um, as you can see tonight, I am coming to you a little more casual than normal, and this actually was a fantastic week to talk about the burden of overwhelm. Um, I am going to tell you just a little bit about my week. So Monday, I started out in uh, St. Louis, and uh, uh, so I'm in South Carolina. Monday, I started out in St. Louis. Uh, I was there Monday, Tuesday, got home Wednesday, my flight was delayed, got home super late, um, and then I had to drive down uh, for another conference down in Kiowa. Got there at 2.30 in the morning, I uh, had Thursday, Friday, came home today. Once I got home today, I had to help my younger son pack for a Boy Scout camping trip, load the trailer up, take it out there, drop him off, drop my other son off at karate, go pick him back up, and then come home um, to, to be here with you guys tonight. So, that is a lot. Um, it actually makes me kind of tired just to kind of recap it. And, and that is one of, um, that's a really great example of how overwhelm can happen. A lot of things going on, a um, lot of things happening, and had I not been prepared for that, um, it, I could be in a very, very frantic state right now. However, I knew what was happening going in, um, and so I created a plan to make sure that I would be able to get everything done that I needed to get done. So that is one of the key points in being able to tackle the burden of overwhelm. Uh, we have all been there. It is very easy to get overwhelmed in life, in the day-to-day -day life. Hi, Maddie, how are you? Thanks for joining. Um, tonight we are talking about the burden of overwhelm, and so I've just recapped a ridiculous week that I've had that would be very easy for me to have been overwhelmed in. Um, but I was able to kind of keep everything together and make sure that we could get everything done by having um, a good plan in place. And so that's one of the good ways to uh, prevent falling into the trap of overwhelm, and that is to have a good plan in place. So knowing what you're doing, knowing all of the things that need to be done, all the steps that need to be taken is an excellent way to fight the burden of overwhelm. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I did a video about setting healthy boundaries. And that is another way to tackle the burden of overwhelm and make sure that you're not falling into that trap is by setting those healthy boundaries and making sure that you, um, you have things in place you're able to say the word no. If what is being asked of you is not going to benefit you um, in a way that is feeding you either mentally, physically, uh, or spiritually, if it's not in a place where it's going to add value to your life, being comfortable with being able to say no. Uh, no is not a bad word. Uh, no helps to set up healthy boundaries to give you um, the space that you need and to create a place where other people can respect you and those boundaries and you in turn can be, um, you can show up better for the things and the people that you want to show up for. Um, and I have this hat on because again, like I said, I've been running around and, and doing everything um, tonight and, and so it is a little bit of an overwhelming place to be when you've got just tons on your plate. Uh, with that, I also want to just kind of take a minute and explain what overwhelm looks like. So when you're in a place and you are really feeling like there's a lot of pressure on you, there are so many things going on, it's really difficult for you to keep everything together, that is where you're in a place of overwhelm. Um, anxiety is often uh, a symptom or it can manifest from being overwhelmed, not knowing what to do, not being able to prioritize, not being able to feel like you are in control. Uh, when you're overwhelmed, there's a lack of control and you do oftentimes feel like um, things may be kind of be spinning a little bit for you and you're just not, you're not in a good, stable, comfortable place. So that's another thing that can help prevent the burden of overwhelm is being able to prioritize the things that are important, the things that are um, the big rocks, if you will. Um, there's an analogy that I've heard where you know, you've got a, a nice big glass jar and you fill it up with rocks and those are all of the, you know, the big rocks. Those are the big important things. Your health, um, 
you know, your, your self, your ability to love yourself, um, taking care of things that are needed for your family, for your needs, those, those big things. And then you can fill that in as you need to with other things as well, as you are able. And that's another thing that I want to really stress here on the show tonight is that you can't say yes to everything. Let me rephrase that. You can say yes to everything. However, you will find yourself very deeply rooted in being constantly overwhelmed if you do not have those healthy boundaries, if you are saying yes to everything, if you are unable to tell people no. Understand that when you say no, that's okay. I promise it's okay to say no. Um, I was in a place in my life um, not too long ago where it was very difficult for me to tell other people no. Um, I wanted to help people. I wanted to be um, helpful to them. I wanted to be useful to them, and that is how I brought value. But uh, that was to my own detriment because I didn't have healthy boundaries in place, and I wasn't able to say, you know, yes, I'd like to help with this, but I really am not in a place where I've got the time or the resources um, to do that successfully without taking away from other places that really do need my attention. So don't be afraid to say no. Um, don't be afraid to ask for help. That is another really key point in being able to release the burden of overwhelm is asking for help. Identifying people who are in your circle who can serve as your support um, for, for different things. It'll be different people for different things. Um, if you have children, you may need to find some support in being able to watch those children while you do something for yourself, while you work out, while you go to school, while you, um, you know, are participating in something that's fulfilling for you. You may need to find that support where you can ask for that help to watch the kids. Um, you may need to ask for support in areas where you are um, not as strong. Uh, you know, some areas we're very strong in and other areas not so much. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to reach out to develop that uh, support group and be able to ask for help. Um, and understand that there are a lot of people in your life, and you may not even realize this, but there are oftentimes a lot of people in your life who are willing to help, who would love to help. All you have to do is ask. Don't be afraid to ask them, especially if they're not afraid to ask you for things. Um, make sure that, that your relationships are reciprocal in that, that you're not giving everything um, and receiving nothing in return. That is also one way that you can really feel overwhelmed is if you are constantly pouring out and you're not ever in a position to be able to pour back in, whether that is, you know, through your self-care, whether that is um, through relaxation, whether that is, you know, reading a book, whatever it is for you that allows you to kind of recharge. If you are in a place where you're constantly pouring out and you're never pouring back in, you are going to fall burden to, or you are going to fall victim to the burden of overwhelm. So um, learn to say no, learn to understand where your priorities are. So learn to prioritize what's happening in your life and find help, find support. There are people and there are resources all around that can help you with whatever your specific needs are when you're looking for help whether it's emotional, whether it's um, you know financial, whether it's um, just having someone to talk to, uh, that can really lessen the burden of overwhelm a lot. If you've got someone that you trust that you can actually have a conversation with and talk to them about you know how you're feeling, how what everything is on your plate, how they can help or how they can maybe share their experiences with you and be able to help you work through those feelings of being overwhelmed. Um, overwhelm is not a fun place to be at all. It can impact you uh, physically, it can impact you emotionally, um, it can impact you mentally as well. One of the, the um, something that happens when you get to a place where you are constantly overwhelmed is burnout. Um, I see it a lot in people's work environment 
where they take on more items, they take on more tasks, they take on more responsibility, but they don't have the appropriate resources or the appropriate support or they are not able to explain their limitations in the amount of work that they're taking on and that puts them in a place where they are constantly overwhelmed and that leads to burnout. And if you're at a place where burnout is, is very near for you, um, I would suggest really taking time to uh, stop, take a moment, take inventory of everything that's going on and be realistic about what you've got. Are there things that you, and this applies not only to your work life, but this applies to your home life as well. Um, if you have kids or if you yourself are involved in tons of activities and you are in a place where you're feeling like you're getting burned out or like you're going to be reaching burnout very soon, um, stop. Take a moment and take inventory of everything that you are committed to everything that you have going on and determine whether or not it's actually necessary. You know, we do a lot of things out of just general habit and don't realize that many of the things that we're doing are not necessary for our health, well-being, and fulfillment. Um, you know, where are your time wasters? Where are you doing things that um, you know, are you spending ridiculous amounts of time on Facebook scrolling through because you're bored and that, you know, puts you in a place of procrastination from doing other things and then you reach a point where you have all of these things that you really need to do, those things that are important, that are the big rocks, and you're not able to get to them, you're not able to do them well because you've been spending your time in a place that uh, is not serving you or serving the purpose that you've got or doing the things that you really need to be doing. Um, instead, you're just, you know, kind of letting those things slip past you and, and wasting time, those time wasters. So take inventory of that. Take stock of the things that are important to you. Know and understand what they are and put those at the top of the list. So if you, if you need a break and you need to scroll through Facebook, um, you know, just to kind of check on things, see how things are going, or just because you want to do something mindless to give yourself that mental break, do that, but set a timer. If you have been, you know, just a lot of people work for four hours and then get a, a 30 minute break, right? Um, take that same type of approach with your daily activities and what you are doing. Once you can identify where those time wasters are, if you need to scroll through Facebook or Instagram or whatever, you wanna watch funny cat videos, whatever it is for you, do that to give yourself that mental break, but set a timer. Say, okay, I have done this, I'm at a place where I need to take a break, I'm gonna spend the next five, 10, 15 minutes. I would not go much further than that because then you really start to get into the suck hole of, um, I've now spent four hours looking on Facebook and I haven't done anything and I still have this laundry list of things to do. Then your anxiety is going to pick up. Then you're going to get into a place where you're really kind of feeling overwhelmed because you haven't been managing your time um, in, a, in a way that is helpful and useful for you. So that is another, uh, another thing that you can do to lessen the burden of overwhelm is look at your time management. Where are you spending that time? Are you spending it on the important things that you need to get done? Or are you spending it, um, you know, just kind of not really doing anything? Have you ever looked around and four hours have gone by and you haven't done anything? And you had a list, you know, half a page long to do and you haven't touched any of it because you've been watching funny cat videos? Look at your time management and then be disciplined about where you really need to be spending that time. And that will help lessen that burden of overwhelm right off the bat because you know what you're doing, you know what needs to be done, and you are focusing on that. Give yourself the appropriate breaks that you need, and then you can get much more done. You can be much more productive because you've got a plan in place, you've got guidelines to follow, and you can just walk down one, two, three. So as we are talking about um, the burden of overwhelm, I wanna remind you that one, you need to make sure that you are really paying attention to what you have on your list. Uh, what are things, what are you committed to? 
what can you um, not be committed to anymore? Get comfortable with saying no. Understand that no is not the end of the world. It happens, I promise. People are gonna tell you no and you are going to tell other people no in the same, um, in the same sense there. You need to be focusing on activities that are going to be um, fulfilling in some part of your life. So um, look at your time wasters. Make sure that you're limiting things that are just kind of blowing your time so that you can focus your time on those things that you do need to be doing, that you do want to put forth your effort into that are gonna give you results in whatever area of your life they need to. Um, and just make sure that you are really just being very aware of what's going on. Seek support when you need it. Um, and whether that's, whether that's personal and, and you, know, you have a, a great support group on a personal level, or even if that is professionally. Um, if you need help in your job, ask for the help in your job. And so just, I'm gonna deviate just a little bit, but it's still important here. If you are in a place where you are constantly in, in that space of being overwhelmed, if you are in a place where you are dealing with high levels of anxiety on a consistent basis, and you're not able to kind of get that figured out by, you know, limiting your time on, on other things, by saying no, by those kind of things, by really focusing in, please go and get some professional help. Um, it is, there is absolutely nothing wrong with seeking out professional help if that is where you are. If what you're doing, um, what you're trying to do on your own is not working, you guys, there are tons of very good, wonderful, helpful professionals who can help you manage what you have going on, whether it's your stress levels, whether it's anxiety, whether it's, you know, not being in a place where you can um, comfortably say no, whatever, whatever that area is, there are um, professionals who can help with that. Um, and another plug here, coaching is also a really great way to help you identify those things that are important, the, the goals and objectives that you do want to work towards, that you do want to reach, and have someone there who can help you be accountable so that you're not falling into the traps um, that are going to put you in a constant state of overwhelm. So that is, um, that is our topic for tonight, the burden of overwhelm. Um, if you, this has been helpful for you, please like and share the video. Um, tag someone who needs to take a look at this. And um, if you have any questions, if I can help you with any resources, please feel free to add that in the comments. For everyone who joined us live, thank you very much for joining. Um, for everyone who is watching in the replay, thanks for watching the replay. And let me know if there's anything that I can help you with. Um, until next week, uh, Friday night at 9 o'clock, I hope you have a fantastic, fabulous week. Get rid of those things that are going to cause you to be overwhelmed and focus on what's really important for you. Take care.